The external pudendal vein is going to drain into the external iliac vein, and it receives blood from the clitoris, the labia, the penis, and the scrotum. And so it's the deep pudendal vein and the superficial pudendal vein that make up that external pudendal vein. So here we have the superficial external pudendal artery and vein. It's always artery and vein together and mostly artery, vein, and nerve together before you break off into the little ones. The deep pudendal artery and vein those go together into the external pudendal vein, which goes right here into the great saphenous vein, then up into the femoral vein, then up here into the external iliac vein. So the external pudendal veins are gonna go into the saphenous, femoral, and then the external iliac. So this is the inguinal canal that it's going through. This inguinal ligament goes through the inguinal canal. So sometimes what you'll see is a backup of this superficial and inferior epi um, epigastric veins um, that can be related to the, um, it kind of can be a sign that something is going on with the pelvic veins, particularly the pudendal veins. And so here, down here, we have the superficial epigastric vein and the inferior epigastric vein that come off of superior epigastric is coming off of that same great saphenous vein and femoral vein. So see the pudendal veins are going in together with this superficial epigastric vein. And so if this one's plugged, cause it's draining down like this into the saphenous vein and then up the femoral into the external iliac vein, that's saying, Maybe this is the plugged area right here. And that's why that's why we can't get drainage out of the external genitalia. That's why we're having some pudendal neuralgia um, with sitting. The other thing with these um, that gives us a clue about if we're seeing varicosities or superficial veins with these um, superficial epigastric vein or the um, inferior epigastric vein, is that they also anastomose here um, with the uh, lateral thoracic and the internal thoracic vein. And so what'll happen is if there's any kind of, uh, it doesn't have to be portal hypertension. It can just be a very stiff liver, a very inflamed liver um, that is not able to take all of the portal, portal blood then what will happen is that you'll have backup in these veins that then will cause too much of a load on that um, great saphenous femoral external iliac. Um, and so the problem's not coming from low, the problem's actually coming from the liver that's creating, that's not pulling its weight through the portal system and putting too much pressure on this, um, this caval system, the vena cava. Um, it's not um, it's not able to pull up that all that all the blood the way it's supposed to.